All right, guys, so I'm at my local Walmart and uh, I just wanted to see if anyone else is having this issue. This entire section here used to be the card section. It literally used to stretch all the way to where that little refrigerator is, where these batteries are now located. But um, yeah, there's only really like three dedicated rows for literally anything card related. Uh, we're definitely gonna take some of these Ultra Pros for sure, cause we always need supplies. Um, but uh, yeah, it seems as if this might be a sign of the times. I've seen a lot of stuff on like Twitter and Instagram saying that people's stores are gonna stop carrying cards. Uh, I've looked pretty much throughout the entire store and they are no longer here. So uh, yeah, just wanted to see if anyone else's Walmart looks like this now where the card section is really non-existent and it's been taken over by sanitizer, candy, chips and batteries. Sad sight to see guys. Was hoping I would uh, at least come come across some NBA hoops or something today, but uh, it's just looking like just some some sleeves and that's about it, guys. So uh, let me know if your uh, Walmart looks exactly like mine now. Kind of a sign of the times. Sucks. I'm hoping this is just temporary, but really sad to see. Salute to hoops, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Another day. Another video, another day in this crazy hobby of ours. Uh, as you can see from the beginning of the video, I went to Walmart and uh, the card section appears to be completely gone. Now, I don't know if they're getting rid of it completely or if they're relocating it to somewhere in the store. Uh, I have heard a lot of people talking about their Walmarts just completely getting rid of, rid of cards. Uh, simply because they're tired of people lingering around uh, or they're tired of the theft that occurs from them. I'm hoping that's not the case with my Walmart, uh, but as of right now, um, there does not appear to be a card section anymore. There was just kind of two shelves there with some random things. And um, I'll, I'll check in the next coming days, maybe the next coming weeks or so. Like I said, maybe they're just going to relocate them. Uh, but uh, hopefully they haven't gone the way of the, the Dodo altogether because that would kind of suck. Uh, there's only one Walmart over here, and um, it's just kind of a sign of the times, I guess, uh, with how crazy the hobby is. So hopefully that's not the case with my Walmart. Um, moving on, uh, we're going to get into today's video. Before we get into the video, if you could subscribe to the channel... I would appreciate that. Salute to Hoops channels up to 151 subs, which is awesome. Uh, so we're growing slowly but surely at the channel. So if you haven't done so, please subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram as well at Salute to Hoops too. So today, guys, uh, I'm just going to show you kind of a brief video here. Probably going to be a little short one of some cards that I plan on flipping this week. Um, the hobby, modern cards are down and like mid like early 2000s cards are up specifically like kevin garnett's and like alan iverson's and um kobe bryant obviously i uh, but it's I, I don't know what's going on uh but i was able to pick some cards up at like a uh kind of like an antique shop i guess you can call it uh, the other day so uh i'm just gonna go over them and uh yeah these are gonna be some cards that i'm gonna be flipping this week hopefully make some profit off of them and uh, reinvest the money into some other cards. Hopefully, maybe some packs for the channel, some NBA hoops. Don Riss is coming out, uh, I believe, this week. We probably won't see retail for maybe two weeks or so, but uh, just some quick flips. So uh, we're going to get into it here. So the first set I'm, I plan on flipping is going to be these Dennis Rodman slam cards. Uh, these slam cards are super popular right now. I got these for like, uh, I think 25 cents each. So they weren't expensive at all. And with the uh, the new hoops 2021, uh, the slam inserts, uh, those are extremely popular. So I figured I'd pick these up. I spotted them in a box and they were super cheap. So I figured why not capitalize on the current market? Uh, Dennis Robin is one of my favorite players to play the game, especially he's a former Chicago Bull, as you guys all know. So I might keep one of these cards because these are some pretty sweet looking cards. Uh, but 
I think I can get uh, definitely some money for these for sure. Obviously nothing nothing big going on here, uh, but uh, maybe uh, maybe a buck for each one, uh, which would be a solid little profit considering I paid a quarter for them. So Dennis Rodman, making some money hopefully. Uh, we're going to move on to some, another slam series here. It's going to be the uh, Shaq ones. Uh, picked up these at the same place. I believe these were 50 cents each, or they might have been a, a quarter two. I got a deal on all of them, so I'm sure they all average out to something. But, yeah, uh, same same story with these as the Dennis Rodman ones. The Slam ones are super popular right now. And uh, I've seen these on eBay right now. This price has been kind of all over the place, but I've seen them go from anywhere from a dollar to, like, five bucks each. So I'm hoping... Uh, I guess even if I get a dollar for them, each should be uh, a profit off of them. But obviously, the higher they sell, the better. So uh, they all seem in pretty good condition. And uh, who doesn't want uh, a Shaq card? Especially this one. I mean, this one's pretty dope. Uh, got him Duncan, especially in that Lakers jersey when he was probably the most dominant center uh, in the league at the time on that Lakers team. Uh, moving on. Uh, some Dennis Rodman uh, Tops Finest inserts, uh, some Masters. Uh, these all have the little Tops uh, protective coating on them still, too. Uh, they're not in their top loaders yet, but I plan on putting in them top loaders in the sleeves, obviously. Uh, but for the sake of the video, I, I just haven't had the chance to put them in there yet. Uh, once again, all in pretty good condition. I got these all at the same shop, and... Uh, Top's Finest and like Top's Chrome stuff always is a uh, a hot seller. And I think I can get a nice little profit off of these things too. Everyone loves little Dennis Rodman. Moving on. Same uh, same inserts here, uh, but they're going to be Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, we got three of the finishers inserts. And once again, all these have the Top's coating protect, or sorry, the protective coating for the Top's Finest on them, which also makes their value a little higher. And these prices are also kind of all over the place on eBay. I've seen them go for a dollar each, uh, and I believe I saw one go for like five bucks, three bucks, six bucks. So, uh, planning on selling them all in a lot and maybe get like 40 bucks for them, maybe. I think there's around uh, 15 or 17 of them here. Uh, so,. Uh, if I get that much for them, that would be exactly what I paid for all these cards. So no, anything after that would be profit. Uh, last card, actually, we'll go through these. So these I didn't pick up at at that specific shop. I picked these up in the summer, and I believe uh, I I had these in a video probably when I got them. These are just some Kobe Bryant. Uh, it looks like I don't know too much about what this series was. I think it was his, they were their own. Uh, series it's the anthology series uh, i believe this is a 100 card set i'm not i'm pretty sure i don't have all the cards here but uh, i did count them and there's like 53 of these uh, all various types of kobe's and um i i believe that these were all in the uh, 10 cent box and with the way the market is right now i think i could get a uh, a decent amount for the entire lot uh for these Kobe's there are, there's a lot of duplicates in there but uh I know that there's a lot of Kobe Bryant fans out there uh, I'm more of a Jordan fan but I love Kobe Bryant as a player of course you got to respect the guy uh so I think I should be able to get a nice little profit off of my I believe I think there it was around like a five dollar cost I, I may have even gotten a deal for them who knows I got them in the summer so uh that kind of it's kind of gone in the way. I don't, I don't know what I, exactly I paid for them. But last but not least, uh, this is a card that I got with all these. And the uh, owner just kind of threw this card in. Now, this is probably one of the prettiest cards I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this Kobe Bryant Studios. I believe it's from 2016-17 series. And uh, last time I checked on eBay, this was going for like 60 bucks, uh, But that was uh, about a month ago or so. So I believe I can uh, maybe sell this for uh, hopefully like a hundred bucks. Uh, obviously, it's not graded or anything. I don't plan on getting it graded. Uh, but uh, once again, beautiful card. 
Centering looks gorgeous, as well as the corners. So hoping, uh, hoping I can get something nice for this as well. And that's going to be it, guys. Just a quick video, like I said, on some cards that I'm going to be flipping this week. Uh, if they do sell within the next week or so, uh, in the next video, I can let you guys know uh, what I made off of them, so on and so forth. And hopefully I can get some new product on the channel for you guys. I do have some Hoops 21 coming in uh, in the mail today, I think. Uh, some fat packs, so look out for that video as well. Uh, but that is going to be it for this one, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Take it easy.